Hi everyone. Today I want to talk a little bit about Koberger, but this is like the fourth time I'm trying to do this video and it's so hot here. It was 104 today. It's just now starting to cool down and the wind is blowing just enough to make it livable out here. I'm actually at my friend's house. You can see he's got he put in a really nice pool a few years ago and um, I take advantage of the pool while he's at work. He has a 13 year old son that when he was in the second grade I would pick him up for school for him and stay with him until he got home from work. But now that he's 13 he doesn't need me here but uh, I make myself at home here anyway. But before we get going, um, just remember I don't know anything and no matter what I say, if you're curious about something, do your own research on it. I make these videos and I've been doing this research because of those four students that lost their lives just for no re good reason. And it's, I think about Zana Kernodal, Ethan Chapin, Maddie Mogan, and Kaylee Gonzalez and their families. I think about them every day. And I, I really want Koberger to have the best defense possible. I don't want there to be any mistakes so it comes back and he gets off on some kind of technicality. But, you know, I want him to have a fair trial. And I don't think moving the trial is going to help, but he wants to go where nobody knows his name, and I don't know where that would be in Idaho, but we'll see. The next hearing is in August, and John Judge, 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 is going to hear the motion to change the venue at that time. I don't know if he'll decide at that time, but he'll hear the motions. Um, I've done, I've been up to the park quite a few times. I've shown you the drone footage. A lot of people have asked about the cell towers and the coverage. And my son and I were up there Sunday morning driving and I've shown you uh, just what it looks like in Latah County and it's r rural. I've ha seen other people here on YouTube say they live out in the country and they go and show a picture of their backyard and they've got like neighbors in their backyard. To me, that's not rural. This, I, you know, Idaho up the, in the Latah County in those farm grounds, that's rural when your neighbor's like four miles away, not next door. But um, anyway, one of the things I, Oh, the judge did set a trial date of June 25th, 2025. And I hope that date sticks, but I really don't have much hope. I think one of the, I think Koberger's been driving this defense. I think he will continue to. And at some point, this judge is gonna have to just put his foot down and say no more. You know, it, it's one thing you bend over backwards for a defendant because you don't want them to come back and say they they were deprived of any of their rights. And I want him to have all the rights, just like I would expect to have all of my rights. I really do. I want him to have a fair trial. Um, one of the things I was thinking about, though, you know, he had to have been covered in blood from head to toe. And ever, from what I've heard, they haven't found any. And I was just wondering if, had, did, if any of you guys ever watched that show, Dexter? Do you remember that show? It was on Showtime. And Dexter was a character, this is totally fictional. He was a blood spatter analyst for the Miami Police Department. and. Any time somebody, especially if they did something terrible to children, uh, he would take it upon himself to take care of these people if they got off on a technicality. And he would make a, a kill room and completely cover it in plastic. And I just 
would bet that that's what happened, that that car was covered in plastic. He was dressed head to toe in black. And at some point he had to pull over and get rid of all that plastic and the clothes and the knife. And I also wonder because the next day, according to the cell phone records, who the phone associated with Koberger was back at that house and there was nothing was going on there. And I just wonder if he didn't go back to maybe try to retrieve the sheet that he left behind. Uh, who knows? Um, anyway, I just think that that's something that he may have done. When I was doing the research, his sisters had come out and made a statement, and Nancy Grace had said that according to his sisters, they thought all as soon as they heard about the crime that they thought it was him and they told their dad that you should go get him well that's not what this article said at all she was close but i love nancy grace at one time in my life i did not like her and i just thought she was awful but i in my old age i've come to appreciate nancy a lot but um what this article actually said is his sisters did it right away. They suspected Brian of having something to do with these murders and his dad was like, there's no way. And he had planned to drive back with him cross country and after they got home, Brian parked his car in the garage and he was under surveillance. You have to remember, he's under surveillance the whole time. And he worked for, I can't remember now how many days it was, but they have video of him cleaning his car using bleach. And I don't know, when I clean my car, I don't use bleach. I barely clean my car, but I guarantee you I don't use bleach. And I don't know if you use bleach to clean your car, let me know. Um, but his sisters did say in the article that the fr time, the moment he got home, he was wearing latex gloves 24-7. He never took them off. And um, that he's just always been an odd person and I I think he has I think his whole life he's just been an odd duck and um, I don't know I just think I don't know I, I'll be I really am anxious to see all the evidence because I'm not I can keep an open mind about it I don't I don't really have an opinion one way or another, and I just want to go by what the, comes out in the court. I don't want to listen to all these theories and rumors, and oh my gosh, there's a bunch of crazy ones that are out there. But I do think Koberger's driving this defense. I don't know if the June 2025 trial date will hold. I don't know if Ann Taylor will be his counsel when he does go to court. I think at some point when he has no other options, no other way to continue the case, I think he will request another attorney and accuse her of inassistance of counsel. And um, I just, I hope that this by John Judge setting the trial date. I hope that's him saying he's going to take control now and he's going to make sure. And these families deserve that. How can you ever get over something like this? You just, you can't, but you're not ever going to get over until somebody is found guilty and are sentenced and punished for it. I just, 
and it's gonna be at least a year from now before we find that out anyway um, it's really hot out here I'm gonna go now please leave me a comment if you have any questions I do plan on going to Moscow in the next five or six days. I don't want to go when it's so darn hot, but um, when it cools off a little bit, I want to go up to Moscow and talk to the local people. If you have specific questions you want me to ask, please leave them below. I'm happy to do that. And please like and subscribe if you like my channel. And I want to thank all the new people who have subscribed. I really appreciate it. And it's been, um, I, I've touched base with a lot of people from the old days. Uh, I haven't mentioned in a while, but I did start this channel 12 years ago. So it's been a while before I've regularly posted. And it's been nice to touch base with some of those people. And it's been great to hear uh, people's theories and thoughts. And I've learned a lot. So uh, please leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Do you think they should move the trial? Do you think it should stay here? Do you think Koberger's driving the defense? Or is it Ann Taylor? And let me know what I should do ask the people that actually live up in Lataw County what they think. Anyway, I'll let you guys go. Like I said, it's really hot out here. And you have a great night. Thank you.